Staphylin dermatologist. So you would like to know more about hydroquinone and how it works and when it's useful for. So hydroquinone is a very old medication that's topically prescribed by dermatologists. The concentrations range anywhere from 2% all the way up to high strength 22% hydroquinone. How it works is that it inhibits the enzyme which produces what's known as pigment or melanin. Those are called tyrosinase inhibitors. And what it does is that effectively reduces the output of the melanocyte, in other words, the cell which produces pigment itself. There are several pros and lots of cons when it comes to using hydroquinone. So first of all, when it comes to pros, it is by far the most effective pigment corrector that we have. The problem being is that you cannot use this over a long period of time. One of two things happen. Number one, it stops working, and also known as tachyphylaxis, where you have to use more. Number two, you can get what's known as exogenous ochronosis, which means a paradoxical darkening of your skin, especially when you're treating things like melasma. So as a guideline, your dermatologist may put you on hydroquinone for a brief period of time. And that cycle may range as anywhere as short as three to four weeks, especially when you're trying to mitigate post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, but as long as four to five to six months when we're treating chronic pigment, for example, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and melasma as well. Now, each dermatologist will have their own formulation. I myself like using a standalone. However, some dermatologists like to combine this, and we combine this with things like ascorbic acid, which can be a high concentration or low concentration. It can also be combined with things like trichinoin, which is a vitamin A analog. And with that, you may get some skin irritation, and then dermatologists may compound a corticosteroid to help decrease the inflammatory response that you may get from two irritants combined together. You can buy that cream known as Triluma in some parts of the world over the counter, but in Australia, it's prescription only, and most of us compound it. Okay, when it comes to what you can use at home that contains hydroquinone. So in Australia, it's limited to 2%. And that's known as superfate. So superfate contains your hydroquinone, but also your salicylic acid, which acts as a mild exfoliant. In this context, your permissible longevity, in other words, how long you can actually use this for, may increase up to six to seven months, depending on the guidelines by your pharmacist. For dermatologists, we generally prescribe much higher concentrations. Like I said, anything between 4% all the way up to 22%, but the 22% is short contact for special cases only. So most of our formulations range between four to 8%. I myself like to start on the lower concentration and I like to pulse it. So how to actually use it? First of all, apply a test spot. In other words, a small area and you might want to do that every second night. If you don't have any irritation, you can increase the amount applied and the frequency. So if there's no redness, burning, stinging, irritation, or flaking, instead of using it every second night, you might do, use that something like a Monday to Friday. Certainly, if you have skin irritation, back off. Now, when it comes to combinations, it is your clinician that will add certain um, additives, for example, like your tretinoin, your retinol, also your ascorbic acid, if and when you tolerate the hydroquinone itself. Each one will have their own, what's known as cycle. In other words, they will rotate you on different topicals based upon the, the aspect, in other words, the time frame of where your melasma is being treated. So in some patients, it was as short as two months. In other patients, it may be as long as five to six months. So be guided by your dermatologist.